Good morning, Lucas. It's Tuesday, August 7th. I'm sorry I didn't post my third video by Sunday, but I have a list of reasons. One, I had no internet all weekend. In fact, in order to post this video, I'm probably going to have to drive down the road to Perkins or Caribou. B, I sent in a request to my sister about that baby song, and their request was denied. Roman numeral three. I have no idea how to do my own rendition of that song. I don't even know the song. To put it lightly, I'm not a Justin Bieber fan. Are there more words to that song than O oh and baby? If you want to give me another punishment instead, that's fine. Speaking of being a fan of Justin Bieber and other, you know, not so manly things, I've been looking at our comments on YouTube and people have been giving me a lot of crap about the my poking fun at My Little Pony. And after seeing this picture along with that, I'm willing to give it a chance. Now, to play off my video last week, I want to point out this model one more time. Why isn't he wearing any clothes? Ad companies do this all the time. These attempt to touch a person a certain way when you look at their company's logo. When you see that company's logo, whatever you're feeling from that commercial is what you'll feel. Now, you don't know this is happening most of the time. Now, as for why that means clothing companies need to show a naked man to get people into their store, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you want to see them naked again? I... I don't know. The worst part about this technique that companies use is that it works. It happens to me. A really good example of this is those Geico commercials. Do you remember back when they used to use those random situations? Like, my favorite one is when it looked like a soap opera, and they were, like, doing this dramatic scene, and all of a sudden the guy's like, well, I saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Like, what did that have to do with any of it? But it was hilarious, at least to me anyway. And so then whenever I saw Geico from that time on, that's what I thought of. Whatever happened to those commercials anyway, they really worked. But the point is, those commercials said nothing about what Geico actually did besides that one line. Or now they have that, it takes 15 minutes to say 15% or whatever. That's all you know from those commercials. That's it. It makes you laugh. So then subconsciously, when you're looking for a car insurance provider and you see Geico, you think of that little gecko or those, those older commercials and you laugh. And you're like, oh, that's the one I want to get. When in reality, you know nothing about the car insurance company. Car insurance companies are not fun or funny. Ads create this unnatural reaction. And every time we see that little gecko, we laugh. And we go to the company, even though the only thing we know about it is it takes 15 minutes to save 15% on our car insurance. What does that even mean? How do they know what I'm already paying for my car insurance? What I really love is when one company will bash another company in their commercial. It's kind of like when you see a fight in school and you just want to crowd around and be like, go, go, go. That never happened to me. I saw one where, like... The guy was talking on the phone with his car insurance dealer after he had switched over to Geico. But they didn't never they never said Geico in that commercial. He just goes, Well, it took a lot a lot more than fifteen minutes to hear back from them. And I'm like, Oh, that's obviously Geico. And then it becomes this battle between companies putting each other down and erasing illusions and putting up new ones. And it's this and it's this war with our brains. In order to do all the free things we do every day and oh I don't know, YouTube, we need these advertisements. So I mean, I'll put up with the ads if it means I can put this video on YouTube for free. But Lucas, for your punishment, I'm going to give you a choice. You can either A, go to a coffee shop or restaurant and dance to the One Direction song, You Don't Know You're Beautiful. Or two, you can eat a sandwich that contains peanut butter, jelly, mayonnaise, ham, cheese, and pickles. There are 32 species of seals in the world. 